Hello folks, the SNES Drunk here, along with my dog Clyde. Um, just wanted to make a video about um, essential games for the Super Nintendo. Um, the reason being, I've been seeing a lot of posts on a lot of different like retro message boards and on Reddit. Um, people that maybe they grew up with a Sega Genesis, maybe they uh, just didn't have access to a Super Nintendo, maybe they're you know really young and weren't around for the Super Nintendo's original release. Um, and they want to know what kind of games to get for it. And I thought I'd just make a video of the most essential Super Nintendo games out there. Basically, this is a video just to point out the no-brainers of every Super Nintendo collection. The games that should go without saying. The really great, the, the best of the best, pretty much, for each uh, genre, like platformers, for RPGs, just games that I feel like if you're putting together a collection or if you've never played a Super Nintendo before, these are the games that you're going to want to get. The very first game you should get is the Super Mario All-Stars Super Mario World Combination Cartridge. You've got the three Mario NES games with a battery save, plus the lost levels, plus Super Mario World. As far as bang for your buck, it doesn't get any better than that. Unfortunately, some retailers and eBayers have caught on to this, so the game's price has been climbing. Recently, I saw it for sale at a retailer for 50 bucks. At that point, it's cheaper to just get Mario All-Stars and Mario World separately. For other platformers, Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island is another must-have. It's a crazy inventive twist on the usual Mario formula, and it looks and plays fantastic. There's also the Donkey Kong Country series, which personally, I've never been too crazy about, but the second game, Diddy's Kong Quest, is the best of the bunch there. The Super Nintendo Mega Man games are expensive as hell, sadly, but if you can find Mega Man X2 for less than 30 bucks, you gotta jump on that. It's everything a sequel should be. It does everything Mega Man X does, but better. If you don't feel like spending the money, I don't blame you, but there's certainly no shame in simply settling for Mega Man X. Lastly, for platformers, there's Super Castlevania 4, which is a seriously awe-inspiring combination of atmosphere and gameplay, and it has what I consider the best soundtrack on the Super Nintendo. If you're looking for a fighting game, keep it simple with Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Huge colorful sprites, smooth as hell gameplay, and great sound. Same thing with the beat-em-up genre. There's really only one game you need, and that's Turtles in Time. It's the best beat-em-up because you want to keep playing just to see what's next, whether it's getting flattened like a pancake, whether it's foot soldiers on horses, or surfing through a sewer. For run-and-gun games, Contra 3 is short and sweet, and it plays like the original Contra on steroids. Star Fox is also a must-have. It's easy to dismiss the game because of its primitive-looking graphics, but that's missing the forest for the trees. Star Fox is a well-balanced, well-executed rail shooter with great music. Plus, I mean, who doesn't love flying around and just shooting stuff? For shoot-'em-up games, to be honest, you're probably better off playing the Sega Genesis or even the TurboGrafx-16, since the hardware those systems provide lends itself better to shoot-'em-up gameplay. Still, if you want the best shoot-'em-ups for the Super Nintendo, go for Gradius 3 and UN Squadron. For racing games, Super Mario Kart is a no-brainer. It's easily the most fun multiplayer game on the system. For sports games, check out my review of Ken Griffey Jr. Presents Major League Baseball. That should be your go-to baseball game. Hockey offers the NHL series, football has Tecmo Super Bowl, and basketball has NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Soccer also has the FIFA series. For puzzle games, Tetris Attack is kind of a Tetris and Dr. Mario hybrid. It's excellent and addicting as hell. There's also a Tetris and Dr. Mario combination cartridge that's still pretty cheap. Now we get into the more expensive territory with the exploration or adventure games. Super Metroid provides a dark and foreboding atmosphere, and it rewards your curiosity and attention to detail. It's also got one of the best endings to any game ever. There's also A Link to the Past, which of course is a no-brainer up there with the Mario games, but don't forget about Secret of Mana. It offers one of the most well-told stories on the Super Nintendo, a brilliant soundtrack, and a multiplayer option that makes it so much fun to play. Last, but certainly not least, we have the genre the Super Nintendo is most famous for, the RPGs. These games can be expensive, but in my opinion, they're totally worth it. Final Fantasy VI, or III as it's known in the US, represents the traditional RPG experience. It's a huge story with a gazillion characters, tons and tons of items, attacks, and customizable elements, and it takes somewhere between 35 and 40 hours to complete. The game is worth it just for the battle system. It's so detailed and it's so fun to mess around with. And of course, there's the opera scene.
At the other end of the emotional spectrum, there's Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. This game will make you laugh out loud, it's silly as hell. It's also got an addicting timing-based combat system that keeps the battles from getting old. Definitely pick this one up. And finally, there's what I consider the best game ever made, Chrono Trigger. It's the total package, it's got a great sense of humor, excellent storytelling with tons of moments that give you goosebumps, an incredible soundtrack, memorable characters, tons of replay value with the new game plus, perfectly balanced difficulty, and no random battles. It's the best game on the best system ever made. There you go. That's 25 games right there that you should go after. Uh, personally, I would start with the combination cartridges like uh, Mario All-Stars and Mario World, if you can find that cheap, and uh, Tetris and Dr. Mario. There's so much value there that they're worth tracking down. But uh, the best places where you can find these games are, of course, eBay or Craigslist, um, or you can check your local newspaper for a listing of garage sales and flea markets. Uh, there's also yard sale apps available for your smartphone, um, or, you know, you can just skip this whole thing entirely and just stick with emulators. That's cool too. Eh, but where's the fun in that? Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you think I left, I left the game out, feel free to comment. I know there's other great games on the Super Nintendo. I know Earthbound exists. I know Super Ghouls and Ghosts and Act Razor and all those other games are all great. But the point of this video is just for those starting out in the system, um, hence the essentials of Super Nintendo.